My name is Lina Tark Valentine. I'm a senior manager uh, with the Group Internal Audit at Sun International. I'm Tracy Ray. I've been teaching for 39 years. I've been principal at Fairway since 2006. And I first heard of Partners for Possibility just after I got into the principalship, but wasn't brave enough to take the journey. I'm going to hand over to Z to carry on. Our deepest fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and <laughs> Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't, won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to, manif to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Good evening once again. My name is Zena Tom Valentine. The light within us. Let me tell you a little story. I'm a shy little girl from the south of Johannesburg, way south, the nation. Okay. I grew up in an average income family, and life was, it was tough. My parents did everything possible to make sure that I had the best life possible, and I had every opportunity to make the most of myself. I'm eternally grateful to the Lord, my parents, and one other group, as I stand before you today as a qualified chartered accountant, speaking before you all. There was a light that shined. The Lord saw it, my parents saw it, but most of all, my teachers and my principals saw it. They pushed, encouraged, and inspired me to be all that I could be. That a life existed outside of men's. Would you believe it? <laughs> that everything that the light touched, I could impact. Now just think about Simba in the Lion King right now. Wherever the light touches, it's yours. The blinkers of my own little world has come off. Welcome to what Partners for Possibility is all about. I see people here today that sacrifice their time, their money, and themselves <laughs> to give our future leaders, presidents, doctors, engineers, the best possible chance of being all they could be. In essence, I've just summarized what I've learned in all this consulting and uh, time to think. You step back and you listen to what somebody else is saying. You actually listen to them. Listen to everything that they're saying and take it in and then move forward from there. So, to each and every one here today, especially the principals, teachers, support staff, I tip my hat to you. For all you've sacrificed for others, for myself, thank you. My journey started, I applied six times in a row to get onto Partners for Possibility. It was meant to be. It happened the end of last year. At a time when I was feeling completely isolated, and I think all the principals sitting here will understand what I'm talking about with regards to isolation. You feel that there is no one out there listening to you. Partners for Possibility became that anchor. Through the skills that we learned and the important things we've learned with regards to taking time out, reflecting, listening most of all, and listening with empathy, has brought about changes in myself our program hasn't started as such because we took longer than most to get to together. But the skills on listening to people is a, a skill that most principals don't have. Uh, it's changed. 
my door's been open, I've had staff come in, and I've actually listened to them hearing where they're coming from. It has allowed us time to be vulnerable in safe spaces. We've shed many a tear on this journey. We've seen, shed many a, a laughter on this journey. Because I don't think any of us sitting here like to fail, and we are out there to do what's in the best interest of our schools and our children. The impact this journey has had on me is that where there is light, there's hope. And we've seen it over and over again. The circle itself has been invaluable, and Z has been a phone call away on a daily basis. Okay, our journey started off relatively slowly, um, considering from, that I'm from the far south. But uh, I just had a lot of work. I think things were just hectic. So it took us a while to actually start gelling and for me to learn to prioritize and for me to start thinking outside of my environment. So once we finally got that done, yeah, we did quite well. <laughs> okay, and yes, we buy. We definitely buy. I'm the selfie queen. Just right there, I'm the selfie queen. Okay. Um, the greatest challenge that we've experienced or that, that we've highlighted in our planning process and understanding exactly what's facing Tracy has been, well, poor communication. And it impacts on various things from trust, you know, within the teaching environments, that would be staff, principals, um, and even impacting stakeholders. Stakeholders so far as children, for that matter. How are you teaching them? Whether they trust you, whether they're gonna actually rely on you to teach me the right thing, or should I go learn it on YouTube? Um, but that's the kind of thing that we, we, we were experiencing. And based on that, we've started with our partnership we built, a partnership where it's more of a sisterhood than anything else. Don't judge, it's more of a sisterhood than anything else. Um, and we've started engaging with the stakeholders, with the SMTs. Um, not as far as the SGB yet, but I'm almost there. I mean, it's just, just a year, it took me a year to get there, but I'm almost there. Um, we've had one. We've had discussions with the SMT. The one-on-one -on -one discussions have been placed on hold. But uh, considering that our partnership is going to go on for years, and we never say that, uh, we have enough time on on the table for that. Right. The current challenges that we are currently facing is the feelings of lack of support. It is a very lonely place as uh, it, for principals particularly, and I think for CEOs as well, working, taking the rap for whatever goes wrong is incredibly difficult. There are serious confusions of roles, which results in discord with stakeholders, and inappropriate behaviors that lead to illness and how are we going to deal with it? It is evident that there's got to be a culture change. We've got to identify common values. Our existing values may not be interpreted in the same way by all stakeholders. We've got to have open forums for open discussion to improve communication and to find a, the way forward in the best interest of our children, who are ultimately our future leaders. I think everybody sitting here who has been on our circle will count our blessings twice. And in those blessings, we count our friends twice. Our projects, through discussion, we've improved classrooms at school, it was always one person. We've had nine parents who've come on board and we're attempting it again next Saturday. Next. <laughs> we've had lots of outings, but the staff have also the staff have also taken advantage of the uh, principal forum where workshops have been held. Thank you for listening, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Paula, for the opportunity for working on Partners Possibility. It's been impactful, amazing, and I can go on and on.
and we keep everybody informed. But thank you, we appreciate it.